Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to show you my project I've done for the cross promotion between uh, Kitty Scrap Post and Gina's, uh, Gina's design and all the uh, chipboard pieces that you see are the ones that um, I received from her along with these gorgeous cut out doilies that you can get from her shop and I will put a link down below for both uh, the papers that are from Louisa's kits and all the um, embellishments. I'll leave a link down below for Gina's shop. So this is what I have created and it is a mini album. And the first thing is all the uh, chipboard pieces that I had received in my kits that uh, I showed you a video um, before this. I know it was a long time ago. I've been moving and uh, then I had a loss in my family so I kind of been dealing with all that kind of stuff so kind of staying away from YouTube but I um, needed to show you this so this is the uh, cover of it the album is um, five inches by seven and a half up here and it's done just with um, chipboard cover uh, and spine uh, it's a stack the deck uh, type of you can't see that too well I'm trying to film it Light's not too good up here. <laughs> Drag that. So, um, we'll go ahead. The paper is uh, the French seamstress paper, and uh, on the cover, this is one of the um, little dress form pieces that I got. And I just painted it in uh, black, and it's kind of got some glitter in it. The paint does, and then I painted the words up here also in the black, and the. Um, Chipboard is all covered in black cardstock and then sized a uh, quarter inch down around the edges for all the papers. So I just added a couple of buttons here from my stash. And this is a um, Martha Stewart uh, punch for these uh, buttons just in black and white. On the spine, it's done with her paper. And then I just added some lace and fibers down here to match the paper. It's a really cute little bow on there. And then the back is just plain, the gorgeous paper on it. And we'll get on the inside. So here we have um, all my stand, our punches that I've done are EK Success or Martha Stewart. Um, I have not unpacked that box, so I can't show you the punches. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, and I'll be able to show you the, or at least tell you the names of them. So this is the front page, and this is actually raised, so you could stick a picture there if you wanted to. Piece of the paper here that I've cut out and two more buttons, and just kind of made a belly band, and then made a uh, photo tag thing here that you can put a photo on on that one. Then it opens up. The album is made with um, envelopes and, I'm sorry, envelopes and carts. <laughs> So that's how it is. So now you just take the envelope and stick it inside and that made the flap. So here's another one of the dress forms over on this side. I had used some embossing powder here to give it kind of a more texture, kind of cool. And a nice image on a Louisa paper here and it's a little tag that just slides in behind. Put a picture, journaling, whatever. On this little flip out is the little spool and I just wrapped some of the paper around here, added some more buttons and one of the cute little doilies and you can uh, stick something down behind here too if you like. And it just flips open and then we have the word timeless done in the Gina's uh, selection that I got from her. On this side we just have another, <coughs> excuse me, belly band type. This is another punch, uh, EK Success, I believe. And then I just made some tags. Got this image on Louisa's paper. And then, oh, this is my kitty. And he helps me sometimes in my crafting room. And he is sewing today. Kind of fit with the papers. So these are all tags that you can put photos on. And you can slip a photo back here too if you wanted to. And that's the first page. All the pages are going to have a tag at the top that slips into the pocket. I uh, find it. It's up here. 
and they just slip in the top and it's two-sided you can put photos on them and then they just slide back in at the top I won't pull them all out <laughs> you know they're there this cute little pair of scissors it's also from Gina's kit and then we've got tags here so this is a wood piece that I got in Gina's kit we um, and what I did is I cut out one of the buttons in Louise's paper and put one of the um, little plastic things that you put in the bottle caps on top of the button and then just attached it to the wood piece and these are just a couple of tags. Just slide it in the pocket. And then on this side we have a little Billy Band that's on here with a little button at the top. Another EK success. And it flips open. You can put a picture up there. And then we have another tag with another button on it, just slid in here. And this opens this way, and then it opens up on both sides. So you could have a four page picture spread. So we'll start on this side. So this is a showing machine. I also did it with the embossing and have the nice little doily here. And then the tag slides right behind it. And then we have a little punch out here two more tags on that pocket and then when it slides on this side this one flips open with memories on this side and a little booklet that pops out and you can add four pictures on here and on the back slides right back in there and then she Louise has added a couple of really neat little cutouts on this uh, kit she has. So I just put one here with a button and then a tag behind it slides in. And then another one of the dress forms. These are really pretty and fun to work with. And then another doily and it just slides in. Another tag here with a little button on the top. I'm going to close that up. Oh, did I show you this one? Sorry. <laughs> this is one of the dangle ones that she had. I had um, a couple of these in, in the kit that I had gotten from her and I just uh, painted it black and added a glue at the top and down here at the bottom and it makes a really cute little place to stick a tag so you can journal on there and put a picture down behind it these are really sweet okay on this side um, we got the little fleur de -lis that I uh, embossed um, with the embossing it's black embossing powder and a little bit of gold in there Two tags with buttons and then just another pocket here. On this side we have just a flip open and it only flips open once. It's glued down on that side. So you can put a little picture here behind the buttons and in those two spots. Then it opens. Uh, last page. This is a dress form that hang was one of the hanging things and it has a little tag here and then one of the gorgeous doilies back there. Tag that slides in. And it opens. The word inspire, and the little doily there. Beautiful papers. The tags. We've got two of those there. And then the last page just has a couple of little buttons on here. And you can do some journaling on that if you like. And then the back. So that is my project for the cross promotion. Really had fun with it. Loved working with both of these kits together. So, sorry, I haven't quite got this all set up yet. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my project, and like I said, I'll leave links down below for both of the uh, kits, and uh, guys have a great day. Take care.